Okay, last time we talked a little bit about efficiencies uh, compared to other fuels. Let's talk about how heat pumps are actually put together. What they, uh, what they really are. I told you in the first one of these, it's an air conditioner turns back, turned backwards. But it gets far more complicated than that. Because we're having to absorb heat from the outside air. Uh, unless you live way south, you're going to have to have some way to defrost this thing because what it's going to do, it's turned the, the outside coil, which used to be a condenser, it's turned it into an evaporator now. An evaporator reduces the temperature of the air that crosses it. If it reduces the temperature of the air, if it reduces it enough, it will condense water out. If it condenses water out and the temperature is below freezing, the coil temperature, it's going to be ice instead of water. So I've got to have some sort of system to defrost. I have to have sensors to sense when the coil is iced up. I have to be able to reverse the cycle so that it turns it back into an air conditioner and puts hot out there in the uh, outdoor coil that melts the ice. I'll go into defrost more later, but for right now, uh, you have to have that system in the heat pump to make it operable. We oftentimes use larger coils on the outside for heat pumps. Uh, oftentimes we use larger coils inside and outside, although they're pretty much getting to where air conditioners are the same way as heat pumps now because they're trying to increase efficiency by using larger coils or more efficient coils. So the heat pump outdoor coil also has to be designed a little bit differently in order to accommodate the frost that builds up on it and that sort of thing. Uh, in high snow areas we have to lift heat pumps up off the ground like air conditioners are usually set on a pad uh, heat pumps will have pump ups or blocks or something under them to get them high enough to keep the snow out when uh, when there's a pretty high buildup of snow. So there's some little things like that you just got to deal with. Compressor design is probably a little different. You kind of have to talk to the manufacturers about that because I'm not so sure I really know what they do. And they used to say we have to have a heavy duty compressor for heat pumps. Uh, because of its, uh, its reversing action. Uh, but in any case, there are some design differences in compressors and some of the control systems. The next one, we'll talk about what happens when we start this thing up and it starts uh, warming the structure.